scientifically speaking, I'll tell you a secret that most physicians never hear about, despite decades of research and thousands of research papers and elegant science. The mind and the body are not separable. What happens in the mind happens in the body and vice versa. They're one unit. In fact, one great researcher, uh, Candice Pert, uh, called it body-mind. It's a one unit. Mm. So our emotional system is part and parcel of the same apparatus as governs our immune system and our nervous system and our um, hormonal apparatus. It's all one system. It's right. not separate. They, they're different manifestations of the same system. Now, what is the role of a healthy anger, like we've already talked about, is to protect your boundaries. What is the role of emotions in general? It's to let in what's healthy and nurturing and welcome and to keep out what is not. Is that clear enough? Is that mm -hmm. okay? What is the role of the immune system? Fight off intruders. And to let in what's nurturing and healthy. Right. When you take vitamins, you don't want your and your supplements, you don't want your immune system attacking that. Right. So it's to let in what's nurturing and healthy, keep out what is dangerous and toxic. The immune system and the emotional system have the same role. Because they're one unit, when you repress anger, you're also suppressing your immune system. Mm. That's been demonstrated in the laboratory. Now, when you do that, your defense against malignancy goes down. Because your immune system, immune system is supposed to recognize the malignant transformation, which happens in our bodies all the time, by the way. It's an accident of nature, but a healthy immune system will say, well, that's, that's a foreigner, that cell, I'm going to destroy it. Right. When you repress healthy anger because you were programmed to do so because some parenting expert told your parents that an angry child should be banished from your presence, or because the child was abused and to survive the abuse they had to repress their healthy self-defense. They also suppress, then they learn to suppress their anger all their lives. That represses the immune system. Now the immune system turns against you or it can not fight off malignancy. The, the physiology is straightforward, it's elegant, it's been worked out. Most physicians never hear this. Now there was a study out of Massachusetts, I think, which I quote in the book, um,